Alright, I should really go underground. Pickaxe, hammer, fuel source, fire source. It's not as necessary during autumn, but might as well. That's three fires. Don't need this. Some food might be. Oh, I have food. Huh. I'm gonna say some food might be nice, but... Oh, it's already being dried. Okay, I'll wait until it finishes drying then. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to do that. It's the full moon, right? So that means the, uh, the glomer should be out. moles here! Oh my god, perfect. I actually need these moles. Is it because of the cat coon? Yeah. Oh, they're going to sleep. Damn. No, cat, go away. Leave my glomer alone. That one was injured because of the cat. The cat attacked it. That's the worst part about these balls. If the cat smacks it, the hammer actually kills it. Last bit of rock. So 
Still trying to figure out where everything is. Well, let's probably go around here. Oh, there we go. I need some muggles. I'll just bring this one. Um, also need one of these, two of these. It's also two twigs, I believe. So four twigs. Four meat. And that should be ready in about two two days or so. Alright. Let's do something to pass the time for now. Actually Actually a better idea would be to check out these caves near the base. Even while this game was a wicker bottom game, I never did it. Uh it's I don't know why I didn't do it. The the cave is right here. It's so convenient just to head in there right now. Yeah, I guess I'll start with that then. I'll take the umbrella just in case it starts raining. No, I won't. It's not necessary. Rain doesn't build up, or whiteness doesn't build up fast enough in an ROG. Pickaxe hammer. Probably don't need the hammer. Oh, but I'll bring it anyway. Pitchfork. Gonna need that. Got the repair kit if I need it, but I don't have anything to repair, so repair kit doesn't do anything right now. Moggle's glowberry? That should be it. This is gonna be an exploration adventure. So all I'm doing is exploring. Uh, when I get back, these things should be ready, and then I'll go back to the other caves, into the ruins. Pretty cool. This is technically two screens away. That's why the mushroom trees didn't go away. Huh. This is two? Wow. That's a really long ways away. This looks like three screens. It's so weird. It should be two. I don't want to keep the flint, but I'm going to grab it and drop it over here. Uh, just because the moles are to my left. So if I ever get near this area, they're going to start grabbing stuff. Wait, what? Okay, that is really weird, and kind of scary. Wait, what? But, it's a new cave! Why did it lead to the old cave? I mean, obviously this is a brand new cave, right? I just, I just broke it open and, uh, you know, spelunked for the first time. A fire pit there, there's like a little hole there. Entire air is explored because you know that's that's pretty normal for first time jumping into a cave. Huh. 
Very odd. Just going on. thinking now. I wonder if it has anything to do with why it took so long to load. Uh, when I was generating the previous cave, it took a really long time to load. Oops, I shouldn't stack them. Oh, damn it. It's too late now. So if I go into the other cave, what happens? I'm so curious now. I want to find out. Okay, well this is convenient cuz actually no it's not. Cuz the other cave is almost done. I mean, I mean this cave, not not the other cave. There's no other cave anymore. Or I I don't even know actually. This cave, which is what used to be the other cave, is almost done. So I'd rather not have the almost done cave near my base when there's still so much potentially that I could be doing. How does this work? It's obviously a bug with integration, but... Oh my god, so many questions, no answers. But I will find the answer. Once I finish up here, once I get all the supplies ready, I'll check out the other cave and see if it generates a new one for me. If it does, then that's good. If not, then I got screwed. I mean, if this one gets replaced anyway, I guess there's no helping it. It's, uh... Kinda ROG. It's shipwrecked, but it's integrated with ROG because of the last patch. Hey, a mole. Just grab you. You are a mole, right? You're not a worm. You don't sound very scary. Any day now. So Nitro is now renewable. I was saying that yesterday. Uh, in ROG, you can get infinite Nitro with the earthquakes and moles. This wasn't the case in shipwrecks because uh, there was no constant source of rocks. The caves just solves everything, almost everything. Uh, cobblestone is still a limited resource, unfortunately. Which is why I'm doing this. More cobblestone for me. All of these items I'm going to bring back to Shipwrecked. Right. 
It should be about a fourth done this season. A fourth to a third done this season, which means that the bear is coming uh, in about half a season. Bear just shouldn't be a problem though. I probably don't even need the blow darts. Unless I want to be lazy. Bearger's what? 3k HP? 3k HP means that it's going to take a lot of blow darts. I'd rather save the blow darts for the dragonfly. It's the only one that's difficult to kite. The Bearger does have an awkward combo though, or uh, pattern. I just don't remember it. Just like the, the dragonfly, I don't remember the actual pattern. I think it's like three attacks, walk away, three attacks, walk away, walk in, walk out, walk in, walk out, and then three attacks again. I'll figure it out. Because it does two attacks in a row at some point. Dragonfly is confusing to me because I haven't played ROG itself in a while, uh, but in Don't Starve Together, the uh, Barrager is the same, whereas the Dragonfly is completely different. So the Barrager pattern is no problem, I hope. <laughs> 